Foolish Mortals. All right, are we gonna beat this game today? Woo! Yes. No. I don't know. Yes. Confident start from Christopher Willard Trent as usual. <laughs> All he has is the moon lift. Yeah. What? Yeah, no. The moon's the best level. I thought we had like two levels left. Well, there's also like a. No, I mean I thought we had two of the choosable levels left to beat. Nah, because we did the mines last time. Oh. Well, we're, well, we're in space. Mm-hmm. I guess that's where the moon is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I've been looking at the internet. <laughs> Oh, yeah? We might just be at, like, Area 51 Secret Movie Studio. Oh, oh okay, yeah, 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 probably. <laughs> Wait, was that an alien? Yeah. Are we about to murder aliens? Yeah. Gosh, Mr. Why? I've because to the moon they're in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not doing anything to them that they wouldn't do to us, man. I guess. Look at that. Earth shot there. I know. Pretty nice. Uh, that's way bigger than the Earth would be from the moon. That is probably true. It's absolutely true. <laughs> but if you want to harp on that and not the fact that, A, the moon seems to be in an asteroid field, and B, we're, we're breathing. breathing. <laughs> Do ducks not need air? I don't know, man. Is that how ducks work? Well, ducks are water birds, so they can, like, go underwater and, you know, hold their breath and stuff. How do you think it? So, but they're talking, so they're not holding their breath. They're just hanging out on the moon. How are they talking? There's no air to talk through. Oh, yeah. I'm oh. beginning to question the logic behind this entire situation <laughs> right here. So, who's Fenton? Who's Fenton? Who's Fenton? Oh, well, I guess... Who's him. Fenton? He's, he's dead now. <laughs> I guess I don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get eviscerated like everyone in that game pray. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, who's Fenton? He's Gizmo Duck. Who's Gizmo Duck? <laughs> He's like Duckburg's answer to Iron Man. Oh. Huh. Are we playing as this guy? <laughs> <laughs> No! He could have taught us so much! Uh, wow, nice. He didn't teach me shit, except... I like how on the moon you hit things less far. <laughs> so wait. Ah, oh, shit. They've got those suits because they stole Fenton? No. I don't I don't really understand these guys. Oh, okay. They look kind of Iron Man-y. In a way. Okay. It's all right. Okay. Waiting patiently for the level to load. All right. Yeah, this reminds me of. <laughs> Is it Mega Man? On? <laughs> it reminds me of Mega Man X, because in Mega Man X, in the first level, there was like a giant green ship like this that flew over you towards the end of the level. John, mm -hmm. I'm gonna shit in your heart. <laughs> We should never play like a Mega Man X game on this show. I should just spend every le every single like game that we do. I should just relate it, but never ever tell you, or never ever play it. I think it's really fucked up how the beaks fall off of these like robot. Yeah, cops. right. Sometimes like little chunks of them just stay on the ground. That's disgusting. These are like RoboCop, right? Oh, they're robots. Well, they're just robots. That there's the plug socket. Yeah, whatever. Or plug. That's what they just tell you plug. so you don't like feel bad. I bet they're actually Robo Robocop type cyborgs. Alright, I'll be back for you later, green pillar. Got like cheese on it. Yeah, we're here to steal the cheese from the moon. Oh my god. I know, it's cartoonish shit, right? This is some like <laughs> dad level shit. Well, fuck, man, it's DuckTales. Okay. Shit. Fuck, damn. I'm used to everything being so gritty. Yeah. <laughs> and real. I need to let my mind go. Come on, me. This, um... I'm cheering for the aliens. Fuck you, dude. They're just sitting... They're not even attacking you. They're just floating around. I know. I know. I'm cheering for them. Free the moon people. Fuck the moon people. Look what they're doing. This is unwarranted aggression on their part. What, those? Yeah. Those aren't moon people. Those are duck people robots. The moon people put them here, John. No, they didn't. These guys These, did. Yeah, the moon people. These aren't moon people. They came from somewhere else. I wonder if I can... Okay, cool. They came from somewhere else in their ship. I do know I don't want to touch those. I would think not. 
If there's anything worse than spikes, it's electric spikes. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. But it's okay. Boop, boop. Oh. This four inches of cane will protect us. Oh yeah, it's insulated. It's got a rubber tip, that's why I can bounce on it. <laughs> what are you that, laughing at? Is that how that works? <laughs> Absolutely, why not? <laughs> you know more about electronics than I do. And ducktails, apparently. Oh god, yes. I really didn't watch DuckTales. I really didn't. I almost freaked out and jumped off my rope. Also, why can't you jump higher? What do you mean? This is the moon. Why can't you jump higher? Um, maybe we're in the blue zone. The fuck is a blue zone? The blue zone is a portion of the moon in Marvel Comics. <laughs> oh boy. That uh. Let's talk about comics <laughs> some more. <laughs> It has a, uh... Okay, it's weird. Okay, I don't think of us as being particularly nerdy, but, like... <laughs> like, we're nerdy, but we're, you know... We're not, like, assholes. <laughs> for the most part. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... It didn't occur to me how much we talk about, like, comics Fuck. until we started doing this. <laughs> Anyway, Blue Zone. So you want to know what the fucking Blue Zone is? <laughs> yes. Please do tell me. I'm genuinely interested. About it's a the blue small zone. patch on the moon that has breathable atmosphere and I think gravity. Why? Um, Bless I don't me, remember. But that's where Jean Grey's trial was after she stopped being the Dark Phoenix, and then they vaporized her there. Oh shit. Yeah, I think there's a memorial built for her up there now. They vaporized her. Oh yeah, they executed her. That's how it happens. In I believe so. The canon. Yeah, like in the old school. Huh. I have not actually read those. They fucking vaporized her? Yeah, man. It wasn't her fault. Well, that's not how they saw it. Jesus, who were the judges? I don't remember. I just <laughs> I never read it. <laughs> I, need to, I need to find out who to be angry at I'm just, retroactively. <laughs> I'm just aware of it. Look at so how this. does she die in the new canon? That's always the canon. Well. Wolverine killed her in the movie. Yeah. It wasn't the canon then. Well, we're not talking about the movies. We're talking about the comics. Okay. And as far as I know, they haven't, like, retconned it or done anything weird like that. You know what was a good show that I need to rewatch? What? Wolverine and the X-Men. That was a good show. It only got one season. It was a shame. Did it? It only got one season? I believe so. It's bullshit. Oh, hey, the gravity. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Did their artificial gravity system extend to the moon's surface? Maybe. I love these fucking mice. <laughs> yeah. Or rats or whatever. What's the difference between a mouse and a rat? Size, I believe, and the tail. So when they have, like, gross skin tails, it's a rat, right? Mm hmm Okay. They're, like, thick and look like earthworms. Oh, so now you can, like, swim. Whee! That's how space works. Yeah. Is it not? No! <laughs> <laughs> you can't swim in space? You can't swim through nothing! <laughs> well, there's air in here. I guess if there's air, I don't know. I don't know how well air handles your crew. I don't think you can, though. Wouldn't you be able to just, like, <laughs> blow and, like, yeah, tell yourself? Yeah, I think you can. I don't really know, though. I don't know how effective that is. We are not scientists. Oh, God, no. We're damn not astronauts. <laughs> but, you know, on, like, the International Space Station, it's so tight that there's never a point where you can't reach something to push off of or... Or uh, grab or whatever. We're gonna do a redo on that real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. I would like yes. to go to uh, to space to find out. Well, maybe someday you will, John. Did you know that if the International Space Station wasn't orbiting as fast as it is, it would just straight up fall down? No. Nope. It's not in like space. It's straight up like it would straight up fall down if it wasn't going like ridiculously fucking fast. That's the only reason it stays up. I think it goes... Fuck, I'm, I don't want to quote the wrong number. It goes like several miles per second. That's how fast it is. Dang. Right? Fucking badass. Uh, we need to go They've got like a live... There's a website you can go to to like watch it. Like so? you can you can see the... Uh, what? I said so... <laughs> They said, "What's like you can go to see the position of it and see how like it's it's moving across the, uh, you know, globe." John, that is fantastic. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Someone out there is interested. Well, 
He's not in here. So. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, buddy. No, I know you don't care about space stuff. I'm not as into it as you are. Or at all, really. I want to have the DuckTales shit stuck in my head. Then you're sure as fuck not going to care about the uh, the book I'm reading right now. What book are you reading? <laughs> Maybe the people care, man. This isn't about me. I'm reading a book called Leviathan Wakes, I believe is what it's called. And I won't go into super detail, but basically all I wanted to say about it was that uh, it's been one of those slow burn books. I've been kind of reading it off and off for like the last like year. And okay. uh, it's gradually becoming more interesting until like last night I got to a point where there's like vomiting space zombies and I'm like, finally! Something. <laughs> Something to be interesting in. Something that's not just like contemplative fucking inner monologue. What's the book about? Uh, there's two main characters. There's uh, Holden and Miller, and the chapters alternate between their perspectives. And, uh, I don't know, it's just Check about a... Boof. Do what? <laughs> right in oh. the face. It's about, it's about a war in space, basically. In the solar system. Our solar system. And space zombies. But it does, like, that Game of Thrones shit, where, like, it hints to space zombies in, like, the first, like, you know, the, what's, what do they call it? The pre... Pre, uh, prelude. Prologue? Prelude, prologue, whatever. Okay. At the end of the prologue, they hint to, like, some horrible space zombie shit. And then, uh, it takes them, like, 300 pages to get back there. Uh... It's like that. So it's a pretty long book, then. Oh, fuck yeah. And I think there's several. I'm only on the first one. But that was why I wanted to wa I wanted to start reading it, because I was like, I just want to dive into a book that I can just read forever. You know? Well, you got one. Yep. Sounds like. Cool. Finally picking up, so I'm, cool, yeah. I'm on board for realsies. But, uh, maybe uh, next time on Foolish Morals, I can uh, not tell you anything else about it. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I think so too. You want to go get ice cream? Mm -hmm.